Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> Welcome to another exciting episode of your favorite podcast, The Journey Called Love. My name is Damola Daisy, and I give practical guides to doing relationship the right way. That is the God's way. It's a very great privilege to have you join us again. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. I hope that you enjoyed last episode and that you got value for your time and that you also shared you know the episode link to every other person that you love and you care about yeah well like we started last week we are talking about compatibility and it's my 10 cents on compatibility today i'm going to be last week first of all we spoke about attraction and then believe the fact that you have to be compatible in the things that you believe in your faith not just even for you but also for your children because you are going to be parenting as much as you expect that your relationship leads to marriage and then i was able to dwell so much on the fact that attraction is also something to look out for is also a checklist to actually check when it comes to choosing who to spend the rest of your life with or when it comes to checking out for compatibility i want to start from that angle today you know so i posted this question on my whatsapp group and i got a bit of answer you know i got something from someone which is really profound and i want to share with us all right wait for it all right so first the question is like um should i start a relationship with someone i'm not attracted to do you think attraction should make it the checklist because like i said last week you know so many people not let me not say so many but some people think that attraction should like take the back seat i agree that attraction should not be like priority but i don't think that it should be um i don't think it should be in the back seat i really don't think it should take the back seat Personally, I am an attraction. I think I said that last week as well. <laughs> Personally, I'm an attraction person. And yeah, let me read this and I will give you, I'll, I'll say what I want to say. All right, so someone said that I don't think you should start a relationship with someone you're not attracted to. Because no matter how we might downplay it, it is important in the grand scale of things. It's just like someone giving you a food that you don't like its presentation or what it looks like. And they are telling you it's sweet. Yes, it might be, but because you don't like the outlook, you would not even want to try it. You'll be repulsed by it or even vomit. So although attraction is not everything, it is important in the grand scale of love, life, and marriage. Right? Then she also added, okay, first, before I, if I read the other thing she added, let me just um, collaborate. Attraction, like I've said before, is very important in the grand scale of things. I mentioned last week that there are days when that is what would help keep your marriage. Like, that is what will help keep the, the, the spark alive, really. Like when you remember, oh, you know how they say that when you are, in, are the verge of stopping something or ending something you started, you try, try to remember why you started in the first place and then you'll be able to maybe not end it or not stop it. I don't know if you get that. It's the same thing here. So you have the verge of you can see this old marriage love thing. There are days that you get there and there are days that you would feel like, oh, what am I doing here? Let me just get out. But once you're able to, uh, when you remember why you started in faith, why you chose the person you chose, it's easy to say, okay, let's do this. We can do this. Let's go again. Let's let's keep going, right? So attraction is is very important and here is the second part of this it says what we sometimes means miss is that we want the attraction physically most times i can just be attracted to this person's wisdom or his courage or even his eloquence there are a lot of things you can get attracted to but if there is none at all that attracts you then i think you shouldn't go into it now this is it for me and i'm going to want i want to dwell on this a little bit right so attraction is not just about physical yeah i hate to break it to you but it's not really i mean you can be attracted to someone's look like the shape of our body or his eyes or his build or his eyes oh my god <laughs> or his beard oh that's 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 like i mean you could be attracted to all of that the teddy bear and all of that you know you could be attracted to the skin tone the skin color how good 
someone looks physically that, that attraction yes that that exists but then again it might not be if, if you're not physically attracted to someone well you should check other forms of attraction because if you say oh i don't like what you look like and then you give up that might be actually you missing out on a whole good thing right so aside from physical attraction there's also intellect intellectual attraction right you're attracted to the way this person thinks the way the mindset that this person has the way this person sees life you know for me i am i am an intellectual person yeah i put them put it that way in that i i get to be more attracted to a smart guy than a fine guy don't get me wrong i love fine guys right yeah <laughs> all right i love fine guys yeah, right but i i can i, I would be more attracted to a guy that is smart than a guy that is fine and not smart i hope that you get that so we have different things like that works for us right but i'm saying that attraction in this case when you're talking about it like as regards compatibility does not have to be physical so you might physically know i'm not actually saying be with someone ugly please that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that you could not be attracted to someone physically but the physical can be worked upon actually so instead of dwelling on what you see focus also on the other aspect of life or other aspect of attraction that is not physical like i've mentioned there's intellect there is like my um like the other person mentioned there is courage there's eloquence how well does this person speak for you that might be what attracts you to a guy you know and yes that does it for a lot of people a lot of us as well you know how well does he speak is that even about like can he can he um can he can he speak big english i don't even sincerely i don't even think i would like <laughs> i'll be attracted to a guy that just goes on and then speaks all of the english and i have to carry a dictionary to understand what he's saying uh, that's like a bit complicated right but how eloquent is he able to put his thoughts together and deliver and i understand what he's saying you know how smart is is he i mean can i can i speak in between lines and he's able to decode you know some of those things are really cute things that are like that should also be you know points to be attracted to so like like i've said or like i am saying what i'm saying in essence is that physical attraction is not just it so you might not be physically attracted to someone but i mean you could be intellectually attracted to the person you could be socially attracted to them oh i just like the way he's um free and and, and jovial and he's cool with everybody yes so if you are attracted to someone socially and maybe physically they are not all there you know mind you attraction is not the only thing to check before you say okay i'll just be with this person right i'm just saying like when you come to the point of attraction physical attraction is not just it so if you are attracted in any other way you could want to see how that leads and maybe try to correct whatever physical de- defect or deficit you um you don't like about the person right all right so <laughs> so much talk R- let me go right into what i have for us today so um i'll be sharing two other at- um, compatibility checklist and i have yeah um, okay i think the first already is like attraction is not just physical so yeah you have that already i'm going to just reiterate and say that i am saying like i mentioned a lot about attraction last episode if you've not listened you should listen you should listen trust me so i'm saying that attraction is not just physical you can be attracted to someone you can be attracted to the way the, someone dresses you know yeah you can be attracted to the way ah yeah there are there are so many cute guys ladies out there with great fashion sense they don't have to be light-skinned tall that can answer more right but you know that could be what you're attracted to so the point is if you're attracted to something about them i mean then check just just make sure that you check the box of attraction just check the box of attraction as long as you're attracted to something it might not be physical right so that brings me to the other uh, point i have which is direction purpose or whichever one you want to call it right so um for compatibility you also have to check your direction and by this i mean where are we going are we going the same direction and no this does not mean that you have to be doing the same thing or you have to be in the same career path or anything like that it means that can we both work together do what we have to do or do what we are doing and not disagree you know how the bible says that can two work together except they are agreed right 
a translation puts it as can two work together except they agree on the direction that they want to go so can we come to an agreement are we compatible in our direction can we come to an agreement in our direction that okay you want to um start the ministry okay it's fine i i'll, I'll just support you i want to do i want to maybe start a movie i want to be in the movie industry i'm sorry and you know but none is going to affect each other i'll support you support me and we'll be good an agreement so agreement on the direction that you expected or that both of you want to go it could be the same direction like i mean and that means like it could be the same thing that you want to do maybe two of your into ministry you know and it could be different but you, you being compatible with your direction means that the two of you can work in the path that you want to walk without affecting each other you know just you are going to be supportive of each other and all of that that is something that you definitely need to check as well very 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 important right so that somebody is not saying that i want to do ministry and the other person is saying oh i i want to um <laughs> i'm not interested in okay so i met a guy recently and you know he was talking we're just you know, getting to know each other that kind of thing and then he, he said something around if god calls him he's never going to answer <laughs> i don't know if you listen to this podcast but anyways <laughs> he said if god calls him he's never going to answer that he's yeah he's not planning to go into ministry at all he's not in his game plan he's not thinking about it like it was giving me a vehement no 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 it can never no, not even just no like never ever can i ever right and i felt like okay i mean on a normal i'm actually not a ministry person like like like, like that like that so, i mean right but i am also that kind of person that i know that if god says that this is what i want you to do i might you know want to drag it a little bit easier and there god why god when god how but i definitely would you know obey at the end of the day but you coming to say like that's the mindset i have but you come to say never ever ever even if it tells everybody around me even if it comes like even if it comes down to tell me ah, i feel for me it felt, it felt like a, a little bit of incompatibility right there because i mean so what happens if god we, and what happens if god wants you to be in the ministry and then you're, you're, you're refusing so crazily and i cannot even talk to you about it because somehow you come to tell me before that before we we, we got together you already told me you're not doing that you know it felt like sometimes i i just i just felt okay that, that, that's okay that's you i mean it's fine right but in my mind tell me my mind i felt like ah, i don't think i can do this not like anything was going to happen anyways but i just made a mental note right so that is what i'm talking about your direction just an example anyways but your direction has to be compatible with each other that's being saying not that one someone is so invested in getting out of the country and the other person is thinking no nah, i'm not like that i just want to be here I'll probably make my money here and get to the point where i can go in and out of the country you know direction so i'm not just talking direction as in ministry i'm talking direction as in life in general right purpose life in general really what exactly do you want to do you know i want to go into business like a person is saying i don't like the b or okay let's say business is a bit um it's not so controversial right let's say politics and this other person is saying i can never get married to a politician and in your mind you you actually want to be a very great politician in like some years time you need to really so you see what i'm saying there that disparity is something that you cannot um ignore right all right so um this brings us to the end of this episode like i said in this season i do want to us to have two long episodes i hope that you got value for your time i'm sure that you got value for your time you got value for your time if you do which i'm sure you did share this <laughs> with your friends share with people around you if you're watching this on if you're listening sorry i'm sorry i keep saying watching don't worry you soon get to watch me <laughs> But if you're listening to this from youtube please like subscribe to my youtube channel guys subscribe i mean i cannot ask you guys for money or gen 2k right but i can i mean one way to help one way to support is by subscribing and of 
course share like comment drop me info insights let's actually think about this thing together no one's an island of knowledge so if you think that you have one or two extra things to add someone messaged me today and was saying that i've not talked about um how the fact that you also have to be compatible in your um i think the person said um about being god fearing right spiritual let me just say that spiritual compatibility i mentioned believe last week but yeah we'll still have to dwell on it in subsequent episode in this month so for the month of march we are going to be talking about compatibility yeah if you have not yet joined the family please subscribe comment like share and uh thank you in advance right well thank you once again for listening i'm damnola daisy and this is the journey called love podcast till i come your way again next week stay love stay good no grief for anybody no grief for anything we uh, how do we say it again sorry i've forgotten no grief for love we no go last this year all right bye guys